Hey, what's going on guys? It's Eric here and today we are talking about the one and only SNDL or Sundial Growth and if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, let me know what your thoughts are on SNDL and let's get right into the video here. Now obviously you guys know what this is, it's a weed company uh, based out of Alberta, Canada and essentially it has been running massively over the last few weeks. So just a few weeks ago it was trading at I think around like 60 cents, it went all the way up to $4.86 uh, just the last week and now we see that it's closed at $2.05. Now because tomorrow on Monday the stock market isn't open uh, and we have a short week this week, I do see a lot of price action movement on this stock for the week. So just a full disclaimer, um, I actually had a position earlier on uh, in this company here when it kind of first initially got traction and somehow I became a day trader overnight and thought that I could outbeat or beat all of the actual day traders and I, I bought 500 shares at 98 cents and within hours I sold it at 73 cents a share losing about 160 something dollars so yeah looking back at it I look like a complete idiot for selling this and taking an L on this trade when it went all the way up to uh, four dollars so yeah uh, yeah that's all I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna leave it at that so the first thing I wanted to mention about SNDL is it was kind of in the same scenario as Naked Brands, which was NAKD. Now obviously SNDL isn't as shorted as NAKD was. I think the short percentage on SNDL is about 10 or 15 percent, whereas uh, Naked Brands was above 80 percent. So what I mean to say by this is that it received the same notice as NAKD did. So basically they got a notice saying that if they don't maintain a bid price of above one dollar a share for 10 consecutive days um, before June 26, 2021 they were going to get delisted from the Nasdaq completely so this company before I got all the hype and before everybody jumped into it this company was trading at around 60, 65 cents and we can see that they were actually on the verge of getting delisted. They were going to get delisted by June 26, 2021, which is in a few months from now if the company wasn't successful in maintaining a bid above $1 for 10 consecutive days. Now obviously within the last weeks it has been able to stay above the $1 mark and we can see that now they are going to stay on the NASDAQ. But before that, this company was kind of in the realm of getting delisted on the NASDAQ. So just keep that in mind when you're investing in this company. Now, obviously, it, it has tremendous amount of potential. Um, the next news release I wanted to say is they actually, on December 21st, they said that they are now debt free and they actually completed a financial restructuration. So the first thing here is that they're debt free, which is very very good for a company like this because they're actually not even making revenue right now so for them to be debt free at this early stage of a company is tremendous because most of these companies which are investing in weed or making uh, marijuana products are substantially going to be in debt because they need to build their product build their company so they are going to inquire a lot of costs without actually having revenue so the fact that sundial growth is actually no longer in debt is very very key here and it's actually very good news for the company so another thing I wanted to touch on here is their two most recent news release which is the first one here basically announcing that they closed a hundred million registered offering which was basically them offering a hundred shares of the series A unit and some of the series B unit as well but they closed this at 75 cents a share and then the most recent news release on February 4th, we can see that they did a 74.5 million registered offering for 60, 60 60.5 million shares of series A and about 14 million series B shares. And they closed it at a dollar per share here. So 25 cent increase between the two offerings, which is very, very important. Now, something else I wanted to touch on was that the company, like I said earlier, isn't actually making money. So they're actually losing money currently, but they are debt free. So we can see that if I scroll down here, um, their net revenue 
is actually going down from the previous three months or the previous nine months. So again, I'm not saying this company is making any money by any means, but I, I don't think this really matters from a technical standpoint right now because people are very, very excited about this stock. So I could go through all of these numbers there. It's on their website. I would definitely recommend you guys to go check out these numbers before you do any type of investment. But what, we're, what we've been seeing with all these meme stocks and all the AMCs and the, the GME, the, the BlackBerry, Nokia, it's all about the momentum. So it's not necessarily about how the company is doing financially because we can see here that their net loss, they're still losing a lot of money uh, in the last three months and in the last nine months. So in the last nine months, we can see it ending in 2019, they've lost $126,000 and this is multiplied by another $1,000. So this is basically $126 million that they've lost and it's increased in 2020. So again guys this company is losing money losing revenue so they're not profitable but like I said I don't think it really matters at this stage of the game because people are very very excited about the stock and it's been on reddit and a lot of people are just investing without actually knowing the ins and outs of this company so what I think this company has or what I think the market right now has for this company is if we stay above the $2 mark, I think it has a lot of potential to go back up and to test uh, the $3 mark or even the $4 mark. Now, obviously, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not going to recommend you guys buying into this, but I would very, very much look for a break below the $2. And if it does break below $2, then I would wait until $1.50 and I would really, really hope to see some consolidation around $1.50 because if it goes all the way down back to a dollar very, very sharply, I wouldn't necessarily want to go back into this trade. So I'm going to be looking out for this trade. If it stays around $2 and then it starts moving up fast, maybe around the 210, 215 to try and test 225 to 250, I would definitely look for that type of move in this week. So again, guys, not a recommendation. You guys can invest the way you want, but definitely take a look at SNDL, put it on your watch list and see how many or what price action we see this week. So the last thing I wanted to touch on was that SNDL has 1.46 billion shares out there. So this is ridiculous amount of shares for this company if you really think about it 1.46 billion shares are outstanding in the market and they have a market cap of 3.47 billion for a company that is not even making money currently so i'm not saying they're not going to make money in the future and i'm not saying this stock won't go up because of the market situation right now but again guys just be very very careful I would suggest taking profits when you can and not holding the stock forever unless you plan on holding this for a long-term investment. So that's going to be it for the video guys. We'll see what SNDL has in store for us for this week. And if you guys like the video, please let me know in the comments section below. Like the video, subscribe, and that's going to be it for me guys. See you guys in the next video. Peace.